Hello, in this video we will take a quick look at the layer-based workflow inside Gaia. The layer workflow is considered the most simple approach to terrain creation because it is quite straightforward. Here I am in the layer workflow window of Gaia and uh, as you can see the interface is basically the same as the node workflow that we talked about in the last video. However, there are some differences. First of all, we don't have the list of all the nodes here on the left because we are using the layer workflow. So to access them, you must click on this plus icon, add node, and then you can choose the various nodes. Another difference is that, as you can see, you can't choose the colors node as well as the masking node because layer workflow is mostly for prototyping and quick sketches. You don't have the freedom of the graph node workflow. Then we have here on the bottom right the properties of the various nodes. And here on the top we have the node themselves. So how the workflow, how is the workflow? Let me delete and let's start from scratch. Okay, let's say that I want to create a mountain. So I simply click add node primitives and choose mountain. As you can see, Gaia added the node on the top. And if I add another one, let's say that I want to add a displace, it will automatically stack it after the previous one. It's very similar to the Photoshop workflow and it starts, as you can see, from the top to the bottom. So the first one to be elaborated is the mountain in this case and then we have a displace. And then we can uh, go on and go on uh, by adding nodes. For example, I want uh, terrace. I can do that and change the properties. Okay, and uh, this is it basically, it's very straightforward, you simply stack the nodes on top, uh, one after the other and of course you can always change the position, let's say that I want the terrace before the displace, now I have mountain, terrace and then displace. Obviously you can still access the presets for the nodes that have them, like in this case with this place, I click on this icon here near this place properties and as you can see there are presets that you can choose. Now it's uh, working, you can see it on the bottom left and here it has applied the preset. You can also, like in the node graph workflow, use the properties on the bottom here to uh, make a modification to your terrain. For example, let's say that I want to clamp my terrain. I click on the clamp and uh, simply move the clamp max. To undo this operation, simply click again on the clamp and here we go. This is the end of this explanation. As I said before, it's very straightforward and simple. So do I recommend this workflow for terrain creations in general? No. The layer workflow is good if you are short on time or maybe you are not familiar with 3D softwares. In this case, this could be a good way to create a basic shape, but uh, in my opinion, uh, if you are serious about it, you should use the node graph workflow because you have way more nodes, like for texturing, and it offers uh, a lot of flexibility to create whatever you want. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like to support the channel, comment if, if you have any questions subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.
eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true.